Who the fuck do you think you are, you arrogant cunt? You have nothing to say, you're not just... Just go back to your holler. Seriously? Seriously. Seriously. Yeah, it's sad. Here's the thing about elitist Mr. Sad. Don't be so condescending to those who speak. Listen. Be honest. Be sincere. But don't presume you understand the existence of someone else. <clears throat> Meryl Streep has every right to say whatever the fuck she thinks. Yes, she has a distorted view of reality, an inflated view of her existence. But I do not care. I do not care because it does not matter. I would much rather someone say what they think and maybe question what they say. But... Who are you to judge? Who is anyone to judge anyone else, except on the merits of their accusations? She is presuming that people are responding to hers for, for specific reasons. <clears throat> However, as you know and I know, this is not necessarily the case. So I don't mind that she says what she thinks, and she's very proud of the work that she does. Very well, then. Be proud of your acting. If you must act, then act quite well. But don't be so condescending as not to appreciate that which is. Now, here's the thing. Donald Trump's an idiot. Not in the idiot sense that he's an idiot, but he's a reactionary. And it's very funny when he reacts. And I love the fact that he has a Twitter account. And I hope he keeps his Twitter account because he says really stupid things on his Twitter account, which is awesome. See, the thing is, we overestimate the value of a president. And I love the fact that he's going to mock our understanding of what it means to be a president. It's just a position. It's just a person. They're human beings. There's nothing particularly special about them. And this is why I say I don't give a fuck what he says. That it has any special significance that he says it. We should not attribute him to be some kind of cardinal of virtue, innocence, or intellect. He's not. Nor is Meryl Streep. It's funny. I agree. It's very funny that a president would present himself in a very casual way, if you will. There's another word for that, but I can't think of it right now. But Gad, please, don't be sad. Please. Meryl Streep should speak. Speak her mind. Tell us what you think. Yes, yes, Miss Streep. Tell us what you think. Tell us what's patterns amongst you, what you think. I enjoy it. Quite enjoy it. It's quite delightful to have you speak ignorantly of those about you. I enjoy it quite much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But given that you probably live in an isolated existence, I would rather you think carefully about what you say about those that are around you. And you are welcome to leave. Yes, you are. You're welcome to leave because if you leave, you'll be gone. And we will listen to you not as an American. But I'm not asking you to leave. I'm just suggesting that if you want to leave, you are welcome to leave. And those that want to stay will stay as it should be. No. Do you understand that it matters not what you think, but it matters to me what you think? How can it matter not, and yet it matters to me? I guess I don't matter because it matters not to everyone else, but it matters to me. 
If you think this makes no sense, you're probably right. But it should be said because I can say it. And therefore, because I can say it, I should have said it. And it has been so. Make it so. I said it so. Yeah, perhaps not. This video is made in the spirit of what I say matters not. Those I did say it so it must matter. Mm. How can that be?